hello guys and welcome to the channel so today we're going to be doing a recap of the omega verse called the stranger chapter 5 so guys i've done the recaps of the previous chapters of this omega verse so if you're interested in watching it you could go to the channel and you find the recaps i've done of the previous chapters so let's get started with this Omega verse called A Stranger Chapter 5. As usual guys, please please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Also like the videos if you like, if you like the video. And do not forget to comment down on what type of Omega verse or Yaoi Bell manuals you'd like me to do recaps of. So let's get started with A Stranger Chapter 5. So you see the chapter starts and you see him sitting all alone by himself. Headache, dizziness, indigestion, nausea, back pain, mild fever, all the symptoms are the same. So he actually believes he's pregnant, though personally I do not think he is. In the case of male omegas, it isn't possible to tell if they're pregnant until about 8 weeks in. The doctor might not have known at the time of the exam 2 weeks ago. In other words, there is a possibility that I can eventually give birth to his child. I really don't, for some weird reason right, I don't think he is, I think he's just imagining he's pregnant. So what should I do now? So you see him thinking as he nibbles his lips. It worked out the way he wanted it to. If I carry this child and give birth to it, my role will be over. So seems like he doesn't want to actually leave the house. Then will I get paid to go away and leave freely? Because there's no way he'll keep me after he gets what he wants. So that's what he's actually scared of. You know, actually falling pregnant, giving birth and driven away. So that's, he doesn't want that. What is this feeling? Is it happiness? So you see him trying to shake off the feeling as he squeezes himself tight. I don't know because I've never experienced happiness before but I don't think this is the case am I sad then he's never experienced happiness before that's crazy it's not that either so you see him putting his head between his legs and covering his face it's just I feel discomfort So later, you see him in front of a cop. What are you doing? You see both of them together. He knows my physical condition as well as I do. But why doesn't he suspect a thing? I don't want to take any medicine for a while. So it's like, why? So this is the medicine actually. I was trying not to take it. Just in case. Just in case what actually. <laughs> so same question he has with me. Just in case of what? I told you to speak properly, that way my answer will be clear. Why can't you fix that habit? So he's like, I might be pregnant. Well, go to the doctor and check if you are pregnant. Like, stop 
anyways so you see him chuckle and it's like ah is that so that's quite an amazing thing to hear but that's not possible so take your medicine why why do you think that because you're not <laughs> so he's just like straight to the point he doesn't have time to argue like you're not pregnant you're not so it's like why so you, let, you see him letting out his sigh if I say you're not then you're not you should know that you won't accept it anyways if I tell you more than that tell him more than that what's actually going on can't he get pregnant I would like to know the reason yeah me too like what are you are, what isn't he telling him I don't want to tell you more and I don't know why you're suddenly so obsessed with pregnancy in the first place yeah me too do you want to have my baby I don't think you do so you see him thinking to himself what is he saying wasn't he the one who wanted me to have a child that's what he bought me brought me here for I I thought that's what you wanted so he says this as he looks at him kind of concerned let's see did I ever say that now I think it's your turn to ask me why I brought you here so it seems like he's actually going to explain the reason he's actually here in this in his house no we're stopping here again don't ask don't listen him so he says as he trembles when will you give me a chance to tell you well he's actually asking so if you could tell him we'll appreciate well it's okay if you're not ready yet what do you mean it's not ready he's asking you a question and you're not responding it's obviously ready there's nothing else to do but wait so later so i'm guessing this is the next day you see him going to the hospital he's actually in the hospital so he's sitting down waiting for his turn so he can enter so he's at the obstetrics the gynecology clinic Lee Suhasi so someone I, I, I'm guessing the doctor calls his name so he flinches and then looks towards the direction please come in so you see the doctor Or the nurse, I'm guessing. You're not pregnant. It seems that these symptoms have appeared due to an un due to an imaginary pregnancy. But that's not the main problem. So yeah, of course he isn't pregnant. So you see the doctor speaking to him. Now, do you see this? Usually, male omegas have a pocket over here. So she's actually showing him his body, explaining how his body works. For women, this is called the womb. However, in male omegas, it is called the placenta. But in your case, as you can see, there is no pocket. The, empty, the space is empty. Oh wow, so it means he can't get pregnant at all. Without the placenta, 
there is no place to carry the child in. This means you can't get pregnant, right? So she then looks at him. There are several possibilities as to why you don't have a placenta. It could be due to a birth defect, due to medication, or could have been removed through surgery. This kind of birth defect is very rare case. It's a very rare case. So she tries to know more about him and why he doesn't have a placenta. Have you ever had surgery to remove it? You see him looking at her. There's a faint scar on your lower abdomen that looks like a surgical scar. Oh, interesting. What's important is that you're not able to conceive at all. So she says it as she taps her pen on her table. Besides, your hormone levels are very low. This is probably due to the removal of your placenta. With these levels, you probably won't go into heat. In fact, Lee Su Hasi's physical condition is closer to that of an ordinary man. So, all this information is quite interesting. I didn't think like that's actually what happened. I just didn't feel he was pregnant, but apparently he can't get pregnant. So next you see him, he's like, ha. Ah. So he's sitting outside the office, the doctor's office, and thinking to himself, imaginary pregnancy. Am I that desperate to have a child? Me? So he says this as he lets out a sigh. He must have known everything. Of course he knew everything because he was so adamant that he's not pregnant. So yeah, he probably knew. Why did I bring up such a mess in the first place? Did the facility deceive him into buying me? So he's, you see him sitting down thinking as he rubs his stomach. No, he's not that careless. So he tries to shake off that thought. Why did he buy me? No, why is he keeping me? What am I here for? So he's trying to like understand why he's still there. Like to him, he thinks he's like of no use. What does he think of me? I see him really trying his best to understand. I can't trust him. I can't expect anything from him. I can't. That man is a liar. You see him all in his thoughts, in deep thinking. He, the man named Ju He Won, is a very good liar, so I'm the one who will get hurt in the end. So later that day, you see him walking as he sees two ladies together. Keep it a secret from He Won that I came here. So. I'm trying to understand who this woman is. So you see the woman with the maid. So you see Lee Suhi trying to sneak, trying to like listen to them, to the conversation. Yes, ma'am. Please continue to help him. If there are any problems with him, let me know as soon as possible. You're the only person I can trust. Who is she? I really would like to know who she is. Of course, but are you sure you don't want to see him? So she's like, huh. 
That was a promise. I don't know what he won would do to me if he found out that I'd met him. I'm going. If you need anything, contact me anytime. So this woman actually leaves. Yes, ma'am. Drive safely. So next you see her car leaving. So you see Lee Suhi trying to hide himself. So this woman doesn't actually see him. But unfortunately <laughs> for him, she actually does see him. So she's like, hello. Get in. <laughs> so of course he doesn't understand why she should ask him to get in the car. So it's like, pardon? So she takes her glasses down. Get in the back seat. Suhaya. So she obviously knows him. And this is where the chapter ends. Seems like the Omega verse is getting very interesting. I can't wait for the next chapter, which I'm going to be doing my commentative review of. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you like it, as usual, please do leave a like. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And comment down below on what type of Omega verse slash BL Mamas you'd like me to do recaps of because it helps to, to push the videos on the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye.